Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. In today's video, I'm going to be putting pop protectors on my most expensive Funko Pops. So, let's get started. So I only have three pop protectors, so I can only protect three Funko Pops a day. I will have to get a lot more because I do have a few more expensive figures. And right off the bat, we're starting with Anakin Skywalker. And this is actually the Funko Pop of when he is turning to the dark side and he has the yellow eyes there. So this um, Funko Pop I actually showed off in another separate video when I showed off my Star Wars Funko Pops. And if you guys want to see that video, I'll show a little photo here of what the thumbnail looks like. So you guys can definitely go check it out. So right now I'm just going to unfold and get this pop protector all in working order. And then I'm going to be putting in the Funko Pop. So I think that's pretty good there. It is a little awkward. I think that's better. And then I'm going to put this in. And we'll see how it looks. I think it's gonna look pretty darn good. So there he is with a protector on. I think he looks a lot better, a lot more safe. And honestly, these paw protectors are really, really nice. It just makes them look so much more professional. And actually, I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'm gonna get right into the next one. So the next one I have is an Umbrella Academy Funko Pop. And this is um, a Hot Topic exclusive. This is Ben from the Umbrella Academy, and yes, he does glow in the dark, and he is a pretty awesome Funko Pop. Right now, he is trending at $41, so that is part of the reasons why I kind of want to protect these guys. I don't want them to get damaged at all or anything, because I would be really, really sad. So, same thing, I'm going to unfold this paw protector get this on here and while I'm doing this I don't know if you guys have seen the Umbrella Academy it's honestly a really really good show a lot of like weird things happen and it's just very very different um, it's about a family of superheroes and all they're all born on the same day from different mothers it's a really weird concept but definitely go check it out if you're interested in the sounds of that so I'm just getting the pop protector on here, finally, after some time playing around with it. And this one looks pretty good too, I must say. There he is, all protected. I think this is a 0.5 millimeter protector. I'm not exactly, or 5 millimeter, I don't know what the exact size of it is. But there he is, guys. I'm going to put him right beside Anakin. And I've got the first two protected. I did forget to mention that this Anakin Funko Pop here is actually trending at $50 right now, which is pretty good for just a normal three and a quarter inch Funko Pop. I think you got the size right, not too sure. But I just wanted to tell you guys that. So I'm actually gonna move these off just to the side just because I feel like they're sort of in the way. And then I'm going to do this last one here. So this one is Klaus from the Umbrella Academy. He is trending at $46, and honestly, he is my most favorite character from the TV show. He's an awesome character, and his superpower is that he can actually talk to ghosts, and he can kind of like, um, go to like, I don't know, I don't know what you would call it. It's like a different kind of like world, like where the dead live. Like, I don't wanna say like heaven or H word, you know what I mean, but he's able to like travel into these weird dimensions and speak to dead people, and it's really, really awesome, really, really great character, and he's just all around like wacky and everything. So I got the protector here. I'm gonna slide him in, and honestly, the value of these funk pops might change, so I might end up taking the protectors off them. But for now, while they're trending at this amount of money, I'm going to keep them in the protectors, just to be safe. And there he is, guys, all protected. I think he looks amazing in the protector. 
really really nice job one thing that's kind of weird is that the top i don't know if you guys see it, it has a little bit of a weird curve going to it um so i think if i just maybe like flip them over and let them do their thing with gravity it'll flatten out a little bit but i'm not too sure 100 percent sure i might just have to leave them be and if i do stack them it will definitely flatten them out for sure as you can see they stack really really nicely i don't think they're gonna fall over but that works really really well i'm really happy with how that looks <laughs> so there they are all protected there are the two umbrella academy ones and the star wars one so that is the first part of the video this next part i'm just gonna briefly talk about some new funk pops that have been released and some funk pops that are new that i really want to pick up as you guys can see i only have one pokemon funk pop here which is the Flocked Vulpix. This is the SDCC exclusive. I almost messed that up there. Um, but they actually just released four new Pokemon Funk Pops. And I'm just going to pop them up on the screen here while I talk. There is a Mew. There is a Chrome or Silver Pikachu. There is what's uh, Ponita. There's that one. And then there's uh, Raichu, which is the last evolution of Pichu. And honestly, all these Funko Pops are really, really amazing. I really need to pick these up for my Pokemon set. And I actually need to collect a few more Pokemon ones. So I'm pretty excited for these. So some other ones that have been released are the Falcon and Winter Soldier set. So I'm just going to slide this one over here. And I'm actually going to show you guys on the back what they look like. So there's the Winter Soldier... And there is Bucky there for you guys, if you guys can see that there. So those are two that I want to pick up to complete this set. They've actually been released to stores now, so I'll definitely have to go out sometime, hopefully after Christmas, and grab those ones. They are pretty awesome figures, and they are a must for my collection. Last but not least, there's this really awesome Funk Pop that I want to pick up. And I actually have it over on my wall. I'm going to grab it really quickly for you guys. So it's actually almost identical to this Funko Pop here. This is Moth Gideon from The Mandalorian. And the Funko Pop is pretty much the exact same. But the only thing is that the Darksaber that he's holding in his hand. I'll just show you, show it off to you guys there. I don't know if you can see it in the box. There we go. Go in that direction. But the Darksaber and the new Funko Pop actually glows in the dark which i think is really really cool and the only sad thing about it is that it's a target exclusive and it comes in one of those pop tea boxes with a funk pop t-shirt with it and of course again i'll put up a photo for you guys to see what this thing looks like honestly it's a really great one and i really need to grab it to finish my mandalorian set well guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed that I had a lot of fun for sure, and once again, I will have a lot more coming up, so stay tuned for those. As always, guys, don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Just a side note, guys, I will have some Christmas videos coming out very shortly. I might be filming one on my birthday, which is coming out very soon. I'm very, very excited. And then I also will be filming one on Christmas Day. If you guys are interested in these, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.